There are a lot of amazing food spots in Montmartre, mixed in with quite a few tourist traps. So in this video, we're gonna take you to some of our favorite food spots. We'll try some amazing chocolates, we'll taste some charcuterie, and we'll take you to one of our favorite drinking spots. Allez, on y va. Our first stop today is Chocolate Elenay, which is right up the street here, and we're gonna have chocolates and macarons, some of the best in Paris. Come on. So today at Chocolat Elenay, we're gonna try a macaron because we found them to be one of the best macarons in Paris in a video that we did. And we're gonna have some of their chocolate because not only is it beautiful, it's delicious. So we're gonna try some. So one of the things that really attracted me to try Elenay is how beautiful the chocolate is. Like you see this, this little kitty cat lollipop is wearing a pearl necklace. There's dinosaurs, roses, all kinds of stuff. But check these out. I have a giant rooster here I have birds they have an entire last supper carved in a chocolate we have bears and pigs and all kinds of beautiful things so like I said not only is it delicious it's absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna start with the sesame macaron check this out I can already smell that it's amazing the shell is so light and delicious and the sesame it's got like that unique flavor. It's a little peanut buttery because, you know, it's a, it's a nut. Oh, I'm so happy I got that. That's good. That's really good. And this pistachio wasabi ganache chocolate, you can definitely taste the quality of the chocolate and the subtlety of the flavor. There's so much imagination that goes into the food here and they make it right here behind that window. It's like so fresh, so yummy, so creative. Like you might need a box of those. Mm. That's good stuff. Caramel macaron. So check this out. Oh. oh wow. Yeah, this is delicate. This is really good. This is what I love about Paris. I think that the vast majority of people make the mistake to go to the big names. And I'm not going to say which big names because you know who I'm talking about. I think the better quality macarons or individual little artisan like that that are throughout the city. But this is a great address. You're going to eat a macaron that tastes like a macaron, not like it was made in a factory. Oh, this is good. I was hesitating between the caramel and the passion fruit. This was the right one. Now. I took this little bad boy here, the heart of Rocher's uh, praline. Mmm. <laughs> this is good. Oh man, I could eat a box of those. Oh, I love that. Oh, I don't want to eat anything else today because I want to. I want to keep that flavor in my mouth. This is really good. And. Here is Boulangerie Alexine. They have amazing bread, pastries, and viennoiserie. Right across Alexine, there is a little bench right there where Colleen and I go and next to a cafe, but this is public, so we go and sit here. One of my favorite morning pastries is the Aux Amandes, which is a croissant that has almonds and almond filling inside. Oh. And this is one of my favorite. You can get a regular croissant, you can get a chocolate croissant. This one is an almond pastry filled croissant. That's my go-to at a bakery in the morning. Yeah, that's my go-to too. You can have some, <laughs> I share. So for this one, we stop at uh, Alexine. It's one of our go-to places because they always have amazing stuff, but there's a couple of other boulangerie which we're gonna show you, but this croissant amand is, oh. mm. This is amazing. Alexine has great croissants and morning pastries, vinoiserie, but they also have excellent bread, excellent sandwiches. So depending on what you plan on doing on your Montmartre visit, this is just a really good spot to know about. Next, we're gonna stop at La Boutte Fromagerie and get some cheese. So I can't wait to see what they have, come on. Maybe we'll get something soft and spreadable. Then we need to find some bread. Let's go look inside. They have the bird Disney that we covered in our Normandy video, right there. So I took a Conte and a little chef, a little goat cheese. And she's cutting it in small pieces for, uh, for us because we're going to, uh, to do a picnic, so. We got cheese, 
Now we need bread, we need charcuterie, so on y va. Now it's time to get some bread. And these guys were voted the best in France baguettes in 2011. And it's right around the corner from the Abbesse Metro. We stop in here all the time. Come on. A lot of people have romantic ideas about all the padlocks and putting them on bridges and gates and stuff. They'll sell them to you everywhere. But the truth of the matter is, they're really bad for the infrastructure. They get taken down all the time. So if you think you're putting your lock of love up, your lock of love is going to be gone within, within a year for sure. So find another way to mark your love and hopefully your love will last longer than the padlock on the bridge. So we got some cheese, we got some bread, a little saucisson, some dessert, and now we found a little park just tucked away like you can find all over Paris, and we're gonna eat it. And we got this little half-size baguette, and we had them cut up a little bit of saucisson, and we got some comté all cut up, and the comté is Antoine's favorite, and that little piece of goat cheese. Oh yeah, if you tell them it's for a picnic, they'll cut it up for you. They'll cut up the cheese for you. Yeah. Grab a little piece of bread, just a traditional baguette. I'll take a little piece of comté. You can get six months, 12 months, 18 months. This is 24 month old cheese. Oh my God, it's as smooth as butter. There's nothing grainy about it. It's subtle and intense at the same time. It's a very profound flavor. Oh, it's good. And I like my saucisson sliced really thin. Mm, that's nice. I gotta try some goat cheese on here. That's a very mild goat cheese. That's very nice. It's very firm, it's, it's very dense. But this is the same one that they use, they cut in half and put it in a chev chaud or a hot goat cheese salad. But that is uh, dense, firm and subtle and mild and it's delicious. Oh, this is fine. Very mild, very soft. It's not an overpowering cheese. This is a Croton Chevignon. It's not strong flavored at all. That little fromagerie where we went, it's really excellent. This is a lemon meringue pie. And it got messed up a little bit here. This was absolutely beautiful. Oh. This. This is it. The meringue the soft, the, 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 the tanginess of the lemon it comes with enough to bite that is like delightful. Acidulé, sweet, oh, this is amazing. I don't think you're gonna like it, Connie. I think I should eat it all. I don't think so. I think you gotta hand it over. <laughs> all right. Oh, this is good. It's my turn. Again, it's subtle. I don't know if it's the heat with that meringue. It's almost like, um, I don't know, I was gonna say whipped cream, but it doesn't taste like whipped cream. Let me see. Like, it's very light. It's not a crispy meringue. And the tart is very custardy, a little bit tart. It's a crumbly little crust with that custardy filling that's a little bit tart. And it's, the meringue isn't too sweet and it's not bland. It definitely has some flavor to it, but it's, uh, it's very soft and marvelous, delicious. Since it's falling apart, I better hurry up and take bites and get rid of it. <laughs> take me somewhere with a fabulous view and a bottle of something. Okay. And this is Bashir ice cream. So if you're looking for an amazing ice cream, I would definitely recommend to stop here. It's not a food stop today, but if you want ice cream, I'd go there. This stop is Le Grenier au Pain, and they have excellent bread, of course, but we're stopping in today to get a little special sweet treat that you can't find everywhere else in Paris, so let's go grab it. Look, they have these things. It's a New York roll. It's like a cunha man, but like dipped with chocolate or pistachio. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they call it a New York roll. <laughs> so this is our New York roll. And she cut it in half so we could split it, so I have to give Antoine part of the thing that has some chocolate also. But we learned that there is cream filling inside, so that's part of what makes it different than a Kunyaman. A Kunyaman doesn't have that. That's a roll. That is a cream filled donuts are a thing of the past. 
I've only seen the New York rolls in a couple of places. They look exactly like the Cunyaman that you'll find in other places. It looks just like that, only dipped, but it kind of is and it kind of isn't. And it's good. I'm happy. Yeah. This will definitely be a repeat. So I don't think I've ever tried this one. And then when I was talking with uh, with the baker, uh, yeah, I asked her if it was a Cunyaman. She says it's not, but I would say it's uh, a Cunyaman's cousin. If, and if you don't know what a Cunyaman is, you gotta look at our breakfast pastry video and then you'll see what it is. But I basically said this is, they call this a New York roll. So I says this is the New York cousin of the Breton Cunyaman. Let's give it a shot. Oh, this is so good. Again, it's not too sweet. Oh man. You cannot eat a donut after that. I mean, it's game over. You would expect this to be like really sweet, but it's not. It's not too buttery, not too sweet. It's just right. Exactly. The restaurant with the be beautiful view is right there. Where's a great little pit stop right here, just for a drink or a pastry. Let's go grab a drink at the Relais. Come on. Chin chin, my darling. A perfect way to relax in my mouth after walking all about is a cup of champagne. Cheers. <laughs>